think Australia has a, a culture of binge drinking, but I don't think it actually needs to be part of our identity, and I don't think it needs to be part of our, uh, particularly our young people's identity. We come across so many people on the street that um, that are just peer pressured into drinking, and um, I think it is just that culture that you have to to go out and have a good night. You have to be off your face. You have to be really drunk. I just wish that they would realise that there is something greater in life than in looking good and um, in fitting in. And yes, binge drinking is an issue, but it's just a cover up for the bigger issues and, and the things that young people are questioning about life today. Every Saturday night, we send out uh, two teams of four uh, green team volunteers. They're basically there to provide an extra presence of eyes and ears and to support uh, all the existing agencies like SAPOL and the SA Awards. Um, and look out for vulnerable uh, young people. <laughs> it's definitely not common for a, you know someone around 18, 20 years, 20 years old to come out on Hindley Street for the purpose of helping other people out. You know, we're encouraging people to drink a little bit less or maybe think about going home earlier. But like, I'm hoping we get to a point where like, you know, that will just be, I don't know, I guess more common. We get young people coming up to our volunteers and saying. Uh, why are you doing this, you know? Um, and they're motivated to, to see young people kept safe. There was this one particular instance where this guy was just, um, so he was in one of the alleys, like, just near the edge. We thought he was just asleep. I mean, we woke him up, and he was just really confused and dazed where he was. And we were like, did you come here with your friends? And he's like, yeah, but I've lost them. And um, all we did was wake him up, and we got him to hop on his phone and see if he could call any of his friends. He rang one of his friends, and then his, his friends came got him, and like he was just stoked, and he was so happy that there was people out there that you know weren't letting him fall asleep in the alley. Like it's it's just really dangerous to think that people are comfortable <laughs> falling asleep in the city. The research will show you that a positive engagement is more successful than negative engagement or negative campaigns. Positive messaging actually has a higher uptake and has a longer lasting effect on people. Uh, and that's not really rocket science when you think about it. I mean, after that, we didn't think a lot of it. Like, we were like, yeah, that's awesome. But then it was two weeks later, the same guy came up to us and he remembers, remembered us. And he was like, thank you so much. And like, not only did we impact that guy, but his whole friends kind of thing. And like, as we leave those kind of groups, we always encourage everyone, like, you know, look out for your friend. Like, try and not leave your friends alone like that. Past 2am, there actually aren't many other uh, particularly youth services that go past 2am and Hindley Street's open 24 hours. So there was a gap in service of, um, uh, apart from the police um, and security staff, of just extra people to be around to support young people. The peer-to-peer -peer helping thing is perceived so positively because it's just, it is kind of unheard of. Like we can all have good ideas and we can all sit in our offices and yeah, we can we can try and work out what the problem is or what we've chosen to do is just get out there and see what the problems are because like the stats and the data comes back and like it, it's all good information but like if you don't do anything with it it's useless like we get the data like from the other teams that go out and it comes back and we read in the paper every day about you know fights breaking out and we're like imagine if there was a green team in that spot on that street would that fight have broken out probably not i mean just knowing the impact that we have just by being in a place. I mean, yeah, it's crazy to think about.